Hello all today in this video I am going to provide the steps to increase the accuracy in CNN. In the previous video if you are following our channel means in the previous video itself I would have say, uh, said that the first step to increase the accuracy of the CNN model is to increase the number of images. So as per that if you are working seeing the previous video means in previous video I just worked with 80 totally 80 number of images but in this uh, uh, code I have just totally worked with nearly 200 images. So this is also a less number but you can definitely see some improvements previously in the previous code if you see means my accuracy was around 21 only but now I have uh, gone got some improvements by working with this uh, uh, increased number of uh, uh, images so the first step i have done only to increase the images if you are further increasing the number of images also there will be definitely some uh, uh, increase in the accuracy so as uh, in the uh, as first step is to import the libraries in the first step i have imported the libraries like the tensorflow uh, for uh, importing tf then image data generator and also then the image and then the matplotlib then numphy cv2 and os so first we can just import the libraries and then uh, i'm just using a uh, rephrasing that is rescaling the pixels in the training data set and the validation data set for that i'm just using the image data generator uh, so we can just uh, run this code after that i'm calling the training variable and the validation variable uh, folder in this folder train folder i am having nearly 200 images that is i'm now working with multi-class classification that is four class in the first uh, uh, so each 50 images each so 550 into 4 it is 200 images and then 40 images for training it is validation uh, then you can just notice that uh, I'm in the train uh, train data set I am just calling nearly uh, uh, tra the train this uh, data directory is the folder for the train data set and validation is the folder for the validation data set this three that di two directories I am calling over here and I am just uh, men mentioning the target size as 200 why because in while well, in CNN network the size of the every image should be 200 sh that is should be equal uh, so to make the size of the images equal I'm uh, just resizing all the images in the uh, data set and just I'm just running it then uh, in order to check how many classes are there in the data set I'm just displaying the data uh, classes in this the training variable uh, for that I'm just using the line training for classes since we are having four classes it will count from 0 to 3 you can see just to see that it that is from 0 to 3 uh, so then I'm just declaring the CNN model uh, this uh, this I'm just using the uh, normal CNN model that is only five layers so in the next uh, video we can just check with some other layers uh, just stacking them this is also an another step to increase the accuracy of the uh, model so just stacking more layers will just increase the accuracy of the model but the disadvantage is that it will increase the time too and also while increasing the number of the data set also it becomes a disadvantage that is the time decreases uh, so first we will try to increase steps to increase the accuracy then we can just uh, make some steps to decrease the time but we can't make uh, some uh, some much more modifications we can just make some uh, variations in the time since we are working with uh, if we are working with many data sets obviously the time uh, time will increase so in in this case also you can notice if the previous case it, uh, case, it takes only some less time to complete the whole approaches but uh, now if since we have increased the images it will take some more time to take uh, complete uh, the total execution so now we can just work with the uh, uh, 
or training of the model so once it is completed i am just compiling it by using the categorical uh, generator cross entropy and then optimizer i am just using the default or adam optimizer matrix i want to display the accuracy so i have given accuracy matrix and then uh, we are fitting training the model by using the training variable and the testing variable and also approaches i have given as uh, uh, 20 and in the final 20 or uh, validation accuracy we have got uh, 77 but uh, here we can see there is obviously some validation accuracy increment but while we are working and now we can just plot the graphs for the train loss and validation loss and the train accuracy and the validation accuracy you can see there is some vast uh, improvements in the validation accuracy other than the train accuracy only the validation accuracy should have increased but our disadvantage is that while working with this classification report the accuracy value is not 75 it is only 24 so we have to take steps to increase this so then uh yeah we are also just um, working with the confusion matrix so we can plot that too so in the next step we can do uh next video i will do some other steps to just increase the accuracy of this value thank you